In today's video, I'm going to visit Johor Bahru from Singapore via the KTM shuttle and do a full thorough video walkthrough on r and Princess Cove on site. So today we're going to go to JB via the KTM shuttle and we are at the Woodlands train checkpoint. So I'm sure this is something that many of you have not tried out before, so uh, let's check it out. So the Woodlands train checkpoint is actually not accessible by MRT. Uh, you do have to take a taxi or a bus to get here. So there are a number of public buses to get here. As you can see, today is a Wednesday, a weekday, but there are lots of people coming to and fro the checkpoint, right? These are people who are traveling to and fro Singapore and JB. So we're finally in the train. Uh, take note that you have to be in the, at the station 20 minutes before departure. So if your train is 11 o'clock, you have to be at the KTM by 10.40, right? Otherwise, you have to do the immigration process. So they give a 20 minute allowance for immigration, right? Uh, to get through. We just disembarked from the train. Uh, it took us about five minutes to clear from uh, Woodlands to JB. So we just came out from the train platform and we are now in JB Central. There's no more immigration you will notice because we already did both immigration earlier in Singapore, right? So how convenient it is. We are now just outside of City Square on the bridge to JB Central and you can see behind me the construction for the MRT station to Singapore. Uh, all the cranes there, all the way to the back, which is the station location. In case you didn't know, this MRT will link Woodlands North in Singapore to Johor Bahru City Centre. Already more than 50% constructed, this MRT links to the Thomson Line in Singapore and can take you from JB to Orchard Road in under an hour. This MRT will reduce travel time greatly between JB and Singapore, allowing more people to travel across the border. And it's definitely a much better solution than the KTM shuttle that we have today. So we're now at JB Central and behind me is the walkway to r and Princess Cove. It's a 650 meter walk, covered sheltered walk from here to r and Princess Cove, the mall and phase one. So let's go and do it now. So we just completed about 10 minutes walk from the JB Immigration to r and Mall and behind me is the walkway back to JB Immigration and also the future MRT. And look at it here, this is the r and Mall today. Gaya Grocer, which is the r and uh, supermarket, is quite a big supermarket and should cover all your basic needs. So come, let's go take a look. Jaya Grocer has all that you need for day-to-day -day groceries including meat, fish, vegetables, eggs. So the supermarket business here is doing well since there are a lot of residents upstairs. To be honest, the mall occupancy is not very good right now. Occupancy was pretty high before the COVID-19 pandemic but it has not recovered since then. Some key tenants like clinics, pharmacies and some F&B choices are still here so it's not too bad. So we are now at the road that divides Phase 2 and uh, Phase 1. So what will happen is that the developer will build a link bridge from over here all the way to phase 2 so there'll be a full covered walkway all the way when you walk from phase 2 to the MRT in the future and you won't get you know, hit by the weather or the rain. So if you look behind me, phase 1, obviously from the laundry and the amount of curtains, you can tell that there are quite a lot of people living here. Right, uh, this is a question that we always get about JB, really is occupancy high, is there demand or not for these apartments and obviously you can tell that these apartments are very very well occupied. So where I'm standing now is a site of the future 5 star hotel plus office tower uh, block, right? And actually it will block uh, most of the phase 1 CV when it's completed in the future. So this is one reason why a lot of buyers today are also looking at phase 2 units because the phase 2 CV will be quite practically unblocked in the future. So now we're in a phase one uh, block lobby and we're going to go up and take a look at the units as a comparison to how phase two will be, right? Phase one is a 2018, so it's a five-year-old project by now. Something unique about RNF Princess Cove and uh, Chinese developments in general is that they have a block concierge. So this person is someone that you call in case you make complaints or get some help about what to do about your property, right? And they are very uh, useful and uh, convenient for owners and residents over here. So now we are on uh, level four, which is the facilities floor of phase one. And over here, you get a very nice view of the causeway and the Singapore and the water view itself. So RNF Phase 1 is a 5-year-old development. It was completed in 2018 and handed over, over to the residents. So uh, I want to show you how well maintained the building is after 5 years by now. So uh, something about concern by most owners, quality of building management and I think RNF has done pretty well. The reason why we like to show a phase one because the phase one unit and the phase two units are actually quite similar in terms of specifications that the developer gave you. They are about 90 over percent the same, right? So uh, let me show you what the developer gives you with reference to phase one unit. One, you get a digital dollar, right? This is uh, provided by the developer who have a passport as well as an access card. 
to tap. There will also be a intercom here. It's not a stop yet. This is a video audio intercom that allows you to talk to the security. We need a type G. There is a enclosed kitchen, so we have a sliding door here for the kitchen. If you come in, you will get the floor tile design as per what you see uh, below. Kitchen cabinets are also provided by the developer in this design, so you will get the sink and the tap, right? The oven as well, and this will be a gas hood and hall. Right, and uh, kitchen cabinets provided. Uh, in phase two, the ceiling will be flat, right? There will not be a hole uh, like this. And of course, if you go to the back, there will be a yard. This yard for you is to put your washing machine, your, your tap water tap, and a power point here. So, in the living area, you have the floor in large format ceramic tiles, as for this, you will get the, this skirting design is provided by the developer. It's pretty nice. A bit Chinese design, yeah, but it's quite nice. Uh, you will have a shoe cabinet. Uh, provided the size differs depending on the layout that you buy, but all this is provided by the developer. The DB box and your internet fiber optics is also here as well. But you will have the ceiling hole. This uh, skirting ceiling will be provided by the developer, including the lighting, right? And of course, an aircon unit uh, in the hall for the environment as well. So, in phase one, this uh, back wall is provided, but actually, in phase two, this will no longer be here because all the owners in phase one feed back and they don't like it. So, this will be a white wall in phase two. This is the master bedroom in this unit, and first of all, you will see you have an engineered timber flooring, and you have a flat ceiling, right? Unlike this uh, design, phase two will be a flat ceiling because again, feedback is that they don't like this ceiling, that's a bit flat. Uh, Aircon will be provided by the developer, right? After you have a fantastic ceiling for this unit. Uh, take notice that there is a bay window over here. Now, one thing interesting about our is that this bay window actually does not form part of your area, it's actually free. Uh, so called free space, like Chinese developer like to build bay window, but right? you see a lot of the items bay window design. Right? And over here, you have two bedroom cabinets, uh, master wardrobe provided by the developer and master wardrobe. Right? And over here, you also look at a very interesting feature which is the panning button, right? If you press this button, you get connected to the security in case you have any issues in the home. There's also one more panning button in the living hall. The master bathroom, you enjoy a very nice, again, uh, ceramic tiles on the flooring and uh, floor to ceiling tiles here on the walls, right? And the finishes, kitchen cabinets provided plus the mirror, uh, the, applied, the finishes are from Toto, right? And broken for the shower set here as well. Take a look. It's a quite uh, decent sized uh, shower cubicle. The second bedroom, right, again, its own uh, bath. It's actually a common bath, but if you want, actually, this whole area can be converted into an ensuite bath, the same. So the common bath is actually similar to the master bath earlier, right? You have enjoyed blue floor tiles, uh, ceramic tiles, and then tiles from the floor to the ceiling in the mirror, and all the WC and sink provided. And so this is the second bedroom. Again, you have the engineered timber flooring, right? Here, all my walls and ceiling. Uh, here, you also have the bay window, which is free, provided by the developer. You have fantastic ceiling from here. Uh, Aircon provided by the developer. So, take note that there is no wardrobe in the second bedroom. Uh, in RF, for instance, for this development, uh, the wardrobes are only provided in the master bedroom. is the balcony, the with the great fantastic sea view of Singapore and it was this double glazed glass. So if I open we get a bit of outdoor noise but if I close this double glazed glass acts as a sound filter to remove the noise from the outside. Okay so if I open up and you enjoy this beautiful view of the causeway and Singapore. So just to summarize, this is a two bedroom, two bath. In phase two, this is a type G 933 square feet, right? Uh, the price is roughly around just over a million ringgit. Uh, in Sing dollars, it will be for about 300,000 Sing. And this is prices for cash purchase, right? And it does come with one car bar and all the legal fees, uh, stamp duties, and foreigner that is all absorbed, right? And of course, this is a free property. So here we're going to board a yacht, which is the President RNF. It's an RNF boat, and we're going to cross the water. Uh, take a look at the RTS construction between Singapore and Malaysia. Let's have fun, come. Behind me, you can see RNF Princess Cove as well as the tracks under construction for the RTS between Singapore and JB. Our construction progress looks pretty good and it should be ready by the end of 2026.
see the tracks over the water and that is basically Woodlands North where the station was started in Singapore. And behind me is the tracks towards JB. You can see it's heavily under construction and keep all the way into JB City Centre just across the square. So we are now at the RNF Sales Gallery uh, and behind me is the scale model for the entire RNF development. You can see phase two, phase one, and this tall building is actually the iconic five-star hotel slash office tower. So you can see that this will actually block most of the phase one series in the future, which is the reason why most people are buying uh, phase two right now, because the phase two actually has the best plot in terms of views, which will not be blocked in the future. And you can enjoy sea view, a great sea view of Singapore for years and years. So this is the two bedroom, one bath layout. So it's quite practical for one couple or uh, one person staying, right? A company. Here is the three bedroom show flat for RNF. And the unique thing about three bedrooms in RNF is that they have a four year space. So actually, there's two doors. You come into one door here now, right? And you have a four year area, you can take off your shoes and uh, you know, do a bit of stuff here before you enter the actual main unit itself. This is a dual key unit, which is a studio plus two bedroom combined. Uh, dual keys are useful to get high rental yield, and they are also convenient for multi-generational living. And if you want to stay in one unit, you can also rent out the other. They are also pretty good for that purpose. So that's it and I hope you enjoyed my video walkthrough of RNF Princess Cove. Do like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more such content. And do drop a comment below or PM me if you have any questions. Thank you and bye bye.